Hello, hello Capricorn. How are you doing? You are watching Vita Mind. Thank you for tuning in. And I'm Nahi. Today, um, actually last night, I am Capricorn Sun myself. And out of blue, I cry a lot. <laughs> like for about 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Yeah, cry a loudly like a baby. Yeah, I don't know what happened. What's going on with my mind? What's the energy surrounding the general Capricorns? So today, this reading is dedicated for you, my lovely Capricorn. Okay, so today I'm going to use the Heal Yourself reading card. Okay, to look into your heart. What's going on with you, Capricorn? So let me ask the angels. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Universe. Please give us some insight about the Capricorn's heart. What's going on with our lovely Capricorn? Why Capricorn is sad? Well, this reading is for someone who is maybe suffering from depression, suffering from kind of sad sadness, you know. We just have to look into your into our each other's heart. Okay, this reading can be a little bit heavy, heavier than the other one. So let's begin. Cycles, cy cycles. Okay, Capricorns, you have cycles card. I feel like that you were maybe you have been in their cycle, karmic cycle so far. And from the karmic cycle experiences, there has been a snowballing effect of the sadness and depression, anxiety. You know, when you were situated in a karmic cycles, look at look at her. How how does she feel? Look at her facial expression. Yes, she was like a. Mm, look at her eyes. Do you think that she is full of enjoyment? She is full of enjoyment, excitement? No, I don't think so. She's like, oh, when is when is gonna end? When is when am when am I going to be free from this cycle? Endless repeating, repeating, same old, same old cycles, right? So Capricorn, that's why you have been a little bit down recently. Yes. You feel like there is no ending, right? You feel like there is no new beginning coming your way. That's why you are sad sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Let me let me ask the uh, angels, angel of light cards, angels of light cards to. To get some insights about your cycles okay capricorn my lovely capricorn okay thank you angels okay you have this this card archangel gamuel <laughs> gamuel i'm not i'm not sure how to pronounce the name but archangel gamuel works on the pink ray of love and being loved being blessed with this archangel card indicates that you are ready to open your heart to unconditional love. Love has no restrictions and, and accepts all people as they are, nor does it judge. True love is so powerful that it dissolves hurt, anger, and separation. Let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones, those you dislike, and strangers. This creates a bridge of light which an angel can move along to bring hope and peace. In return, your life will be blessed and filled with love. So, the, at the bottom of the card, there is a, one sentence like affirmation. It says, my heart is filled with the flame of love. So Capricorn, the universe is suggesting you to live your life with unconditional love. 
even though that your situation is not the satisfying, even though your cycle doesn't seem to finish, doesn't seem to go to the to the one that you have always dreamed of at the moment. Yes, right. You are you're stressful. I know. Me too. <laughs> I feel like if I open my eyes, I mean, when I get up in the morning, same thing happens, right? Like the movie, what is it? I forgot the name. There was a Okay, I forgot the name. Okay, I, I will I will skip the story. Anyway, there was a guy who, whenever he wakes up, the same thing, same date, you know, like same Monday, for example, and the time is always the same. And if he, one thing that he can change is him, you know, he can change his reaction. He can change his dialogues toward other people. And according to the changes, every situation changes a little bit, you know, depending on the, the his behavior, right? I forgot, okay. If you know the movie, if you're familiar with this storyline, let me know. Ground Groundhog Day, maybe? Yeah. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, my point is... Even though we are living day in, day out, day in, day out, same old story, same old story. There is, there does, there is no big dramatic changes, and you feel like there is no dramatic changes out of these same old cycles. That's why you feel bored, or frustrated, and sometimes depressed, and crying out of no reason. The universe is saying that you should. It's really hard to say. I mean, it's really hard to act as the Archangel Gamuel suggested, actually, because we are sometimes selfish human beings, right? It's really because we are not the God. We are not perfect. We are, we are imperfect human beings, right? So we cannot actually love somebody or even strangers or... You know, your loved one, your family members, uncondition unconditionally. It's really hard. We we always think your ego always comes before your true unconditional love. So it's really hard sometimes. But I hope if you understand, if you truly understand what this message means for you, my lovely Capricorn, I hope you can Live a day with more meaning, meaning, meaningful moment. Okay, okay, Capricorn. So let me ask Moonology Day to see more about your energy. Okay, I'm gonna pull two two cards. So already one card and this one. Okay, Capricorn. The Moonology Day is always positive message so i love it it says believe in the impossible believe in the impossible so capricorn yeah even though you seems like you feel like there is no dramatic changes you feel like there is no dramatic positive changes coming your way the universe saying that you should have faith in the fact that something amazing something seems impossible apparently will be possible eventually yes that's the big message thank you angels and another card from this monology deck is capricorn oh my gosh you are good enough you are good enough you are lovable capricorn so if you ever feel that you are inferior to others surrounding yourselves don't think it that way because you are beautiful you're confident you're strong zodiac sign by nature you're very caring and you're very giving, yeah, actually. So you're a very loving personality you have, but sometimes people never recognize that kindness. And that made you feel sad, you know? I feel that kind of way, too. Throughout my life, I've been really dedicated to helping my family all from early childhood. Like, even when I was five or six, I really helped my mother's you know household a lot but i don't know maybe 
maybe you can agree with me or not, but even though I put a lot of energy and effort doing something, if somebody doesn't reward us fully, I mean, not just a financial reward, I mean like a verbal reward, no acknowledgement. If there is no acknowledgement of what you have done, how, how would you feel? Yeah, you feel, oh, well, I'm nothing. I'm useless. I did this, I did that, but nobody take care. So nobody cares about what I have done to them or to it, whatever the, the situation is, you know. So sometimes that kind of makes you feel down, 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 right? I've been there, Capricorn, my friend. So whew, you are good enough. Please keep in mind, look into the mirror or your cell phone and always make the before you go to bed, that's what I do. Always do this self affirmation, like a magic spell. You say, well, when you take a shower, for example, you say, "I'm beautiful. I am. I'm beautiful. I'm powerful. I'm confident. Wonderful. Something. Some. Some positive uh, affirmation. If you say that aloudly." If, if you say the sentence loudly, you can hear it and your brain takes it, observe it like 100%. So unconsciously, unconsciously, you becoming more confident. you becoming really, literally, you physically, you're really becoming more beautiful. Trust me, you know. <laughs> okay, I was really inferior. I had a lot of inferiority issues throughout my life until, oh, maybe until recently, yes. But after I started to started doing that affirmation, I'm beautiful, I'm, for example, I'm sexy, I'm beautiful, I'm confident, I'm, I'm abundant, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it sounds really, sometimes people think, oh, that, that thing cannot be possible. How is it possible? Well, look at me. I'm doing this even though my English is not my first language. Even though I don't think that I am perfect looking like a model or Bobby Doll. You know, in Korea, the beauty, the standard of beauty is like having a, having a sharp pointy nose and not this kind of prominent jawline. And, you know, the beauty, standard of beauty of uh, stars, entertainment stars, really dramatically the opposite of mine. So on, up until now, I have been thinking that I am fat. Yeah, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm not smart, my English is terrible, my personal personality sucks, you know. But it's not true, right? I'm beautiful, just the way I am, right? Okay, I'm talking too much. So Capricorn, I hope you I hope you do you do the same thing. If you ever feel that you are not good enough, look into the mirror and um, do that kind of magic magical affirmation sentences every day. You know, little by little it works. I've been doing that kind of things over over years. Right. Oh, Okay, okay, I'm doing this romantic angel card, romance angel card to take a look at your a little bit of romantic life, Capricorn. And right off the bat, you have this one. Give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance, Capricorn. Work on your partnership. So I think you are thinking of somebody. And you, because you don't think that some, something beautiful will happen between you guys. You already pre some assumed some outcome, right? So you were a little bit uh, passive, uh, you know, not active, but passive, you know, in approaching and pursuing the romantic partner. Okay, so let's see what the universe says, what the romantic cards, romance angels cards say to us, my lovely Capricorn. I'm drinking Louisville's Louisville's hot tea because it's over midnight. I just want to take care of my mind, body, and soul. <laughs> okay, no more coffee, especially after midnight. Okay, what do we? <gasps> my gosh, 
Capricorn, you just saw that I shuffle. Really? Yeah. And you know what you have right now? You have this wedding card. Okay? My lovely Capricorn. The first card is give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. I, and I just told you that you were a little bit passive because you think that not something will not happen but the universe just gave me the goosebumps and gave me this card which is the wedding so this situation involves a wedding no matter who you're thinking right now you're gonna get married to him or her or or even though this this one is a wedding card that means that the relationship will be not just a not just literally wedding, it means symbolically you you guys will be together. You know, in a higher level of commitment. So, wow, I don't even have to clarify these lovely stories, but um, for my lovely Capricorn. <laughs> okay, please, angels, give me more, give me more, give me more energy, give me more love. Okay, what's going on with my lovely Capricorn? Okay, there is double another confirmation, double confirmation that you're lovable. It is safe for you to love. It is okay for you to fall in love with someone. It's okay for you to say, I love you to him or to her. You just have to express that feeling. You never know what will happen. You will never know what will happen. Don't ever assume that he or she doesn't love you. I think he or she definitely loves you. You already got the answer, right? Oh my gosh. So be confident. You're beautiful just the way you are, my lovely Capricorn. Okay? No matter what gender you are, right? No matter a, no matter how old you are, you're beautiful just the way you are. Actually, I'm in, I am in my early or mid 40s so well i don't know well i don't know but i think i'm beautiful if you agree with me just please give me the likes and subscribe i never said that aloud but i'm gonna say it from today okay because i just wanna i just wanna i just want to oh my god where's the car oh wait a second I just want to grow. Okay, never mind. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay, the third card is hard to hurt conversations. Hard to hurt conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. It is safe for you to love, Capricorn. <coughs> it's okay for you. You just open your heart. Open your heart with him or with her. And express that damn feeling i'm sorry for cursing if you never reveal your truthful feeling how and what will happen how is the wedding will come to you you know oh my gosh okay express the feeling have a cup of coffee or just have if you are uh, apart your physical if you ever physically apart from each other do the Zoom conference call, whatever. All right, next one. Okay, free yourself, my lovely Capricorn. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your, of your life. Free yourself. If you are ever in that comic, what is the first card? I don't know. The cycle. Yes, the first card was cycle, right? If you think that you are still held up with that, karmic situation karmic cycles now it's time for you to cut the karmic situation away free yourself from any obligations free yourself from any responsibility of course if you are the mother or if you are you know somebody significant in the family members you should be responsible but what i mean what i mean by take take off the uh, responsibility or obligations here means if the situation doesn't serve you well. You don't have to mingle with the situation anymore. Okay, free yourself, my lovely Capricorn. You're gonna 
can marry him or marry her. Express your feeling. Okay, my lovely, lovely Capricorn. So happy for you. So be confident and move forward. Oh my gosh, your cycle, the karmic cycle is about to end soon. I feel like that. Your new future, wonderful, bright future is coming your way. All right, the last card is flood. Yes, 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 yes. Don't be serious. No, 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 not this time. I know you're gonna get marry him or her, but at this at this stage of a romantic relationship, you just have to that kind of playfulness back, right? You know what I'm saying? Extend your light-hearted energy to others. <laughs> What's your floating skill or style? Let me know because I forgot how to float with men. You know, like okay, what's the secret? <laughs> All right. Before I wrap up, I just want to know one more. My lovely Capricorn, I'm really happy for you. Okay, the last card for our lovely Capricorn Capricorn's romantic life is the bottom of the deck. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Reconciliation. Oh, so wait a minute. Oh, so you have already known him or known her. And eventually you're going to go to the higher level of romantic relationship with him or her. So, if you ever blocked him or block her on Instagram or social media, whatever, unblock him or unblock her and wait. <laughs> wait and see. Okay, what will happen? All right, I hope you enjoy this reading and I will be back with another reading, my lovely Capricorn. Take care. I love you guys. Bye.